teenage golf sensation Lexi Thompson has spent her life breaking records. At the age of 12, she became the youngest player ever to qualify for the Women's US Open. At 16, she won the Navistar LPGA Classic, becoming the youngest ever winner on the LPGA Tour. Now a full-time tour member, the 17-year-old American has already been labelled by many as the future of women's golf. Bye. I started when I was five years old. I have two older brothers that play, so when I started, pretty much just grew on me from them and watching them grow up playing the game. I've always looked up to them and tried to follow in their footsteps. You know, watching them and always trying to beat them, I'll drive them. You know, it helped out a lot with my game and my attitude overall. Born and raised in Coral Springs, Florida, Lexi comes from a family of exceptional golfers. Her eldest brother, Nick, plays on the PGA Tour, whilst her other brother, Curtis, is a highly ranked amateur, currently studying at LSU. Lexi's agent, Bobby Cruzlet, noticed very early on that there was something exceptional about the youngest member of the Thompson family. I first discovered Lexi through her older brother, Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas Thompson has been one of our clients since 2005. And it was back then when Lexi was nine years old that I first saw her. And it was about six months to a year later when I first saw her hit a golf ball. And it was uh, truly remarkable. I actually commented to her father. At that moment, I said, you don't realize you have something extraordinarily special. It was two things. It was the at pure athleticism with which Lexi hit a golf ball. And then it was also the the grit and determination with which she practiced and played. It was, it was truly unbelievable to watch in such a young, uh, young child. Being home educated allowed Lexi to spend between six and seven hours a day on the golf course when she was growing up. And playing regularly against her older brothers helped her develop into one of the longest hitters in the women's game. I would say my biggest strength is probably ball striking. You know, I, I hit it a little bit longer, so, you know, ball striking, I've worked on it a lot my whole life, so now I've been focusing on short game a lot, too. However, Lexi's length off the tee is by no means her sole asset. Despite only turning 17 this year, she's already demonstrated an impressive level of maturity on the course. That's one of the things that always does continue to amaze me about Lexi is that she is so mentally strong. Uh, she learned how to win at a very young age, and then from there, she's won at every level, so it's something that she learned how to do and got used to doing. So I think that has given her a mental strength and a mental stability that's uh, a huge advantage over some of her contemporaries. Lexi, who's six foot tall, turned professional in 2010 at the age of 15. That same year, she finished second at the Evian Masters, earning over $200,000 in prize money. But as she was under 18, she was ineligible to join the LPGA Tour. Given that most golfers don't reach their peak until their 20s or 30s, the LPGA were reluctant to rush such a young player onto the Tour. However, following Lexi's victory at the Navistar Classic last year, where she finished five shots clear of a world-class field, it became obvious that she was ready. The LPGA decided to waive their age restriction in recognition of Lexi's unique talents, making her the youngest tour member for the 2012 season. I think she's really excited about it, and I think she's uh, ready to play more often. As you know, I, I think your odds of winning and playing will increase with more opportunities. And for the last two years, she didn't have that many opportunities. So there was actually more pressure to play well in those limited events, if you will. Whereas now, she has more of an opportunity to work on her game and continue to develop. And she will tell you that her goal is to win every tournament she enters, but also just to continue to improve. And I think these additional tournaments allow her to do that. Lexi's likeable personality, combined with her impressive achievements, has already won her countless fans and admirers. Following her first tour victory, she stayed up until the early hours of the morning, responding to every single message of congratulations that she received via Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with my fans. I, I sign every autograph that I see. 
after my round and everything. And I answered every tweet, or at least I tried to that night. I stayed up to like one or two in the morning answering them all. So, you know, I love interacting and reaching out to them. Because of her appeal to younger golf fans, Lexi, along with her sponsors, Red Bull, have been holding a number of clinics in the US designed to help some of the country's aspiring young players. The events give Lexi the chance to meet some of her fans and enable them to pick up some golf tips and to find out how she deals with the demands of being a professional athlete. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming. This is uh, the first of several events that Lexi Thompson is going to be hosting around the Southeast called Tea Time with Lexi. And it's really about Lexi and an opportunity for her to interact with her young fans, but really all of her fans, because Lexi occupies a truly unique position of being a world-class athlete at the age now today of only 17. I love being out on tour, you know, traveling to all the other countries and everything. I, I enjoy it so much and, you know, getting to play against the best in the world and, you know, the best golf courses. You know, it's been my dream since I was little. Well, what I think about before I hit a golf shot, I keep it really simple. I'm not technical in any way. So I look at my target and, you know, think about tempo and controlled swing. That's about it. I don't like thinking over a shot at all. Whilst the U.S. currently boasts a plethora of talented female golfers, they've struggled to produce a player who can dominate the women's game in the manner that Annika Sorenstam or Lorena Ochoa did. Lexi's prodigious performances, though, have already seen her heralded by American golf fans as the LPGA's next superstar and a world number one in the making. I do think Lexi is, is special. She's uh, accomplished some extraordinary things. However, the LPGA doesn't need Lexi Thompson in order to survive and grow. They have so many amazing women that play golf, and, and you look at what Yanni Sang did last year, and you look at some of the other tremendous players out on, on the tour, there's really amazing golf being played by a lot of people. And I think Lexi helps that. I think she helps bring some additional attention to that. But I don't believe there's any additional burden on her, if you will, to be even more of a, a standout because there are so many good, good young women out there playing the game. Currently ranked 25th in the world, Lexi is still some way behind the tour's current star, five-time major winner and world number one, Yanit Tseng. But having completed her studies in May, Lexi is now in a position where she can concentrate wholly on golf. I think her goal is to, to play more tournaments and to contend and win more tournaments, but overall, just continue to improve every tournament that she plays and have fun while doing it. We do try and remind her of that, that it's really not a, it's not a job in the sense that, that other people have to go to work, and, and for her it is, and she loves it, and she wants to do it more than anything. And so as long as we can keep that going, then I think we'll be all right.